right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. And the Garlic Jr. story events got some new stages added. And sure enough, it does appear to be uh, stages for the story event, or like the, the uh, filler arc, right? So the first couple stages go over the events of the movie. Um, and then the last couple stages go over the events um, of the filler arc, right? I'm going to be very curious to see if our girl Marin shows up. But yeah, Piccolo does indeed awaken into a Krillin and Piccolo. This unit is actually pretty goddamn good on the Heavenly Events category team. Um, I think it's a good way to design free-to-play units. Just make them, like, gods, but then, like, restrict them maybe to, like, one type of team. Uh, I think works pretty well. Interesting that they don't show it here in the story event, but um, there's two Awakening Medals. This Piccolo Medal and the Garlic Jr. Medal. Um, you're going to need those to awaken the new LR, uh, the summonable LR, Goku and Piccolo as well. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and knock out these uh, stages here. Um, the new stages here for the Garlic uh, Jr. story event, uh, and we will uh, move on. Um, all right, so again, this is, I mean, probably not the greatest idea they had for a filler arc. Yeah, I, yeah. so directly after Super Saiyan Goku versus Frieza... Uh, we go into Garlic Jr. being revived, um, and then he uses the Black Water Mist or whatever to infect the, all the people of the Earth and turn them into, like, Masaku demons or whatever. What's funny is I actually just watched this arc not that long ago. Um, I watched this, like, right around the time of the Worldwide Download Celebration. I went through, uh, basically all of Dragon Ball Z. And, like, this arc is... It, when they're fighting, it's pretty solid. The problem I have with this arc is that Piccolo is awesome whenever he's on screen, right? Piccolo is always great. And the problem is that, like, Piccolo is, like, too strong, right? Like, Piccolo is, like, Frieza level, right? Like, he's... He, Piccolo is on Namek swapping blows with second form Frieza. And it's like they... So they come up with this excuse of Kami being messed with so that Piccolo does not just, like, destroy Garlic Jr., and you could point out, like, oh, well, Gohan was fighting Final Form Frieza. But it's like, with Gohan, you know, they could sort of just do the thing where it's like, oh, Gohan's not fully controlling his power and stuff like that, right? Like, that's why during the arc, it's like Gohan is sort of, like, clowning around. Then, like, you know, Krillin gets, like, just blasted away by one of Girl Jr.'s shitty henchmen right here. And then Gohan is just, just mad and just one-shots him, right? <laughs> but, like, so, also, by the way... These are Garlic Jr.'s four henchmen from the, you know, the Garlic Jr. filler arc here. These guys really should have been added in the game in some fashion to where you could play them. Um, because all four of these guys would be on the Heavenly Events category team, right? Garlic Jr.'s three henchmen from the movie would not. Um, that's why, like, you know, the, uh, the LR Goku and Piccolo, it's because they're from the actual movie itself. Um, they are not here on the Heavenly Events, uh, category, right? Oh, uh, that's why it's, like, this celebration was done in, like, a very weird manner, right? Because it's, like, they really, like, it, they sort of, like, went back and forth between the movie and the arc, and then it's, like, this LR, like, dude, this LR Goku and Piccolo, like, they sure would be useful on Heavenly Events. I'm just saying, right? Like, that would be uh, pretty ideal if we could use them over on Heavenly Events. Uh, oh, th that gives Icarus items. That's not too bad right there. Um, again, we're, we're going to keep going. Uh, I, I've i told this story before, but I always do like to record these story events. I've always been like the only one to do this. That's because when I first started playing Dokkan, right? And like, you know, I was like a global player. I was watching like Rhyme videos, D3 videos, stuff like that. And it's like, none of these fuckers would ever, like, re like you know, a bunch of new stuff would drop in the game. And, like, I was curious to see, like, oh, like, what's in the story event? Like, the reason uh, I intentionally don't skip these cutscenes, I do that on purpose because I want to see what's being shown here, right? Because back then, I, as, like, a global player sitting there, I wanted to see all this stuff, but I was on global. I couldn't see it. So the reason I record all the story events and stuff like that is for that, right? And that's why, again, because, like, I've, I've seen people, like, sort of being like, Ah, oh, truth is so stupid. He doesn't even know to turn this scenario off. It's like, well, no, Dumbo. I'm, I'm intentionally leaving the scenario on. I want to show that, right? And, you know, this, 
the way I do things has been proven correct before because uh, when they went in and changed the, um, it was like the story assets. Remember when the uh, last Tournament of Power event first came out? They just used like some random Super Saiyan Goku and Frieza render from like Namek or something like that. But then after they introduced LR Goku and Frieza into the game, they went into the story event and actually replaced them, right? And it's like people were able to go back to my video and be like, oh, see, oh, a level 8 link, that's pretty good. Um, but people were able to go to my video and point it out, like, boom, see, that's that's what the render used to look like, and then here's what the render looks like now, right? So, like, that, you know, that was cool. So that's why I'm always going through this. Um, so one thing they could have done here, um, during this, like, you know, d during the, the arc here, the filler arc. Um, again, Garlic Jr. sort of infects, like, the world with the black water mist, which sort of, like, turns him into, like, Mazaku demon-like type creatures, stuff like that, right? Um, Piccolo presumably gets hit with that, and it's like, oh, no, Piccolo has been infected. He's, he's attacking Gohan so ravenously. That's what this, this uh, fight is going to be right here. But... What's happening is Piccolo is actually deceiving Garlic Jr. And only pretending to be under the effects. I guess Piccolo as an Namekian is immune to the Blackwater Mist or whatever like that, right? They really, I mean, I guess, I don't know. It, like, Piccolo isn't, at, like, he's just, like, faking it. But it's like, they could make, like, Piccolo, like, possessed or something like that. Like, that definitely could happen from the second movie and probably will. Like a, like a Piccolo possessed card, that would be very good for the, like the Namekian team and like Battle of Wits and stuff like that. Like just like a possessed Piccolo. He's in the the actual quest mode, which they haven't updated in four years now. <laughs> Piccolo is act the possessed Piccolo is actually in there, right? It's Piccolo and he's got like sort of like these like like these like gold wires on his head or something like that. Um, that like that Piccolo. Uh, it would it would be cool like if they you know they added him and like they potentially could add like a piccolo like you know here uh, for that as well um, and then that would just get us an extra character for the heavenly events category because it's like dude this category team is so like this team is so bad that I actually went out of my way to rainbow and link level ten kid Gohan's SSR right and like I did that seriously because it's like the category is so bad that kid Gohan SSR. It's like the fourth best unit on the category or something like that. Like, I don't know. But it's somewhere up there. Um, oh, by the way, Piccolo's plan, the reason he pretended to be under the effects of the Blackwater Mist was because Garlic Jr. had Kami and Mr. Popo uh, trapped in, like, these little, like, magic balls or some shit. Um, and so uh, Piccolo was sort of, like, deceiving him, pretending that he was under the effects of it so that he could get close to Garlic Jr. And then he just, like, you know, bitch slaps him. And, like, you know, takes the little bottles and frees Kami and Mr. Popo. At a certain point, it happens to uh, Krillin as well. Um, and Krillin is also sort of faking that he was affected. Krillin could actually be affected by it. But that's why it's like, it's just Piccolo pretends to infect him. Um, Alright, so... This is the point of the, I believe, the like the, the arc where the Makio star sort of becomes a thing. This is the reason Gohan is on planetary destruction, by the way, the category. Um, because Gohan destroys the Makio star. By the way, Gohan's inclusion on planetary destruction is really big. Because that basically is the movie boss team, right? Movie boss slash planetary destruction. And Gohan is amazing on that team. Um, but the Makio star... It gives all these dudes, like, a massive power buff. So, like, these two henchmen right here... I, I don't... I, I'm gonna have to talk to Goresh about what their names are in Japanese. I guess I could probably look it up myself. Um, what these characters' names are in Japanese. But I know in, in the dub, they call them the Spice Boys. Like, I believe the one with the Super Saiyan Goku hair, I believe that's Salt. Um, that one right there. And then this other dude is Vinegar. Um, they get buffed. Um, by the Makio star. So, like, they almost could not only have just, like, salt and vinegar, but, like, a full power version. They could also create a demon category as well. Um, and I think, like, if they would do that, right? Like, so, like, if they would create a demon category, like, you know, you could get, like, uh, all the Piccolos on there, Demon King Piccolo, you know, maybe, like, Boo Piccolo could get on there, Garlic Jr., all of his henchmen, right? 
it's like you could actually like you know be creating like because a demon category is something i feel like could work um and is a category that probably should exist i don't know i guess i, I guess us <laughs> y'all can let me know but I, I i believe so all right let me take a look at what these uh the names are for them so yeah there's salt spice vinegar and mustard uh, salt, known as Zold. So, pretty much just the same thing. Then Spice. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, the dude with the Super Saiyan Goku hair. Salt is the, the little red dude. The dude with the Super Saiyan Goku hair, he's just called Spice. Known as Gasu in the original Japanese version. Okay. Then there's Vinegar, who's Vinega <laughs> in the Japanese version. Okay. And then Mustard, known as hard in the original Japanese version okay uh but yeah the spice boys they definitely should have gotten uh characters like like free to play units or something like that the main reason we really would want that though again is a buff for the um the heavenly events category right all right so I think this is the last stage right here this will also get us uh additional um awakening medals right here i think i'm gonna go ahead and equip the uh vegeta and bra driving one right here so we can go ahead and get some extra drops um by the way you know when it comes to like using a category that gives you like special drops you know heavenly events give special drops here um typically you do want to bring like lrs and stuff like that but i've explained many times that i'm double dipping at the same time i'm grinding the story event i'm also link leveling that's why, like, I'm using the characters I'm using, because these are characters that could actually... Uh, I don't have it linked level 10 and stuff like that. The never-ending grind. Eventually, I'm going to have, like, every unit in my box linked level 10, except for, like, new units that come out. And it is going to be so, so sweet. But uh, guess what? That time ain't anytime soon. Not anytime soon. Uh, it is going to be a hot minute. Um, until your boy is uh, completed when it comes to the link level grinding. Uh, the Piccolo and Krillin card, by the way, uh, I am very excited to get them done, get them link level, get them rainbow and shit like that. Because, uh, again, they're pretty good, um, that Piccolo and Krillin. Ooh, this, yeah, th this battlefield looks kind of cool right here, the dead zone. Keep in mind that there is no Garlic Jr. that does the dead zone attack, by the way. You know, so I'm sure we'll get some sort of new garlic jr at some point maybe an lr or something like that i mean it's hard to say for sure but um i'm sure we'll get something so all right so there is the story event uh finally garlic jr has been added to dokkan sweet victory for all of us garlic jr fans there we go super vegeta yeah oh look at all the link levels boy feels so good so good so there we go gohan blows up the makio star and Garlic Jr., despite being immortal, um, he himself does the one thing that would allow himself to be beaten, which is uh, he gets locked in the dead zone for all eternity. So goodbye, Garlic Jr. You're an, you're an idiot. Good job, dickhead. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> what, a, what a dummy. <laughs> I guess at, at, in the movie, he's just an absolute dumbass. But in the arc, there's no way in hell Garlic Jr. could beat Piccolo and Gohan, right? Like, they're, Garlic Jr. is not Frieza level. So, like, he, he's immortal, but he can't do shit to them. So, I guess in the arc, it makes a bit more sense to why he uses the dead zone. But in the movie, it, it seems as though he's relative to Goku and Piccolo, right? Like, I don't think he... In the movie, he could have just tired them out and won. Like, that's where he's an idiot. In the arc, though, again... There's no way in hell Garlic Jr. could swap hands with Frieza. So, like, Garlic Jr. has no shot at fighting uh, Gohan and Piccolo. So, I guess it's it's the arc is where you mock him. By the way, this still not in the game yet either. So, in the future, we could get, like, some sort of dead zone Garlic Jr. And then, like, this Gohan definitely could be a thing. Um, All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and grind up the metals here um for the piccolo let's go ahead and rainbow the piccolo the ssr piccolo and krillin um and then i will come back in one second um when we have all of the medals and we will go ahead and dokkan awaken our boy piccolo all right
Alright, so I've got the grinding done. We can go ahead and Dokkan Awaken our boy Piccolo into the Piccolo and Krillin card, right? Um, again, I think this free-to-play unit is actually pretty strong. Uh, one thing is I do wish that they would have also... Like, ugh, man, this head... The problem is when they... The Heavenly Events category is sort of structured like uh, one of these like sort of saga categories, right? Like Saiyan Saga or, you know, Super 17 Saga, something shit like that, right? But Shadow Dragon Saga. The problem is that like we would have needed like a Krillin as well. Like, it, it's just too early for this. There's so many extra characters they really need to release. I would like to see them release that suit Krillin as a sort of solo card who could be good on the Heavenly Events category team as well. Steam definitely does need a lot of help, but, you know, th this Krillin and Piccolo card is actually pretty good. Um, I, I like what Dokkan has done with many free-to-play units recently. They're doing a good job of making a lot of these units actually pretty relevant, right? So, all right. Um, we got the Krillin and Piccolo card, like, done and stuff like that, rainbowed. Um, I am going to go ahead and get this unit to level 10 links and do a level 10 link showcase on them. Again, I actually do like them quite a bit. I think they're very good on the Heavenly Events category team. So, all right, that does it for the Garl Jr. Story event. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.